Hi guys, this is Paige. Um, I wanted to make this video about um, correcting each other in the body of Christ um, and the right way to correct each other. Um, because it is good to correct um, a brother or sister if you do see them in sin, you know, because we love them and if you're led to correct them, you know, and it's a problem, it can be a good thing. Um, but some people can kind of go into territories where they're not supposed to in the way of correcting, and then it can become condemnation for that person. So I just wanted to read this from Galatians 6 1. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such an one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Okay, so we can correct a brother or sister in the spirit of meekness, um, in gentleness, you know, um, and, you know, in charity and love and you know, looking out for that person and through the Holy Spirit, through the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Now, when someone comes and tries to correct you in a way where they are basically condemning you um, or calling you lukewarm over something, you know, that is not right. That's not the right way to correct someone. Um, I feel like, just in my experience, like, I've had believers or people who claim Christ come to me and, you know, tell me, um, you know, like, just kind of put their views onto me and stuff like that, and it's fine they have their own beliefs, but then when it comes to the point where you're lukewarm if you don't believe, you don't believe what I believe, or you're not of Christ because you don't. Um, you know, believe how I believe. There's a difference between correcting someone in that's in sin, that according to the Bible, and correcting someone over, like, their own conviction, you know? Um, and we should never, like... Even in the Bible, it says, like, we should not judge our brothers and sisters. And when it says that, it means we are not to condemn them and to say they're not saved. You know, we shouldn't be telling brothers and sisters, you're not saved because you don't do this. You're not saved because you don't do that. We know who is of Christ by their fruits. You know, if someone has continuous fruits um, of just content, they continue in sin, continue in sin without repentance, without chastisement, and they don't care. I mean, then that person's like, like not a believer, you know. But um, to go and condemn brethren is wrong. Um, we're not supposed to be tearing each other down. We're supposed to be building each other up in Christ and helping each other, and you know, being there for each other like leaning on each other for help um, and not going and condemning each other over these little things. It grieves God. Uh, it grieves me, too, because it makes me not even want to really get to know new people in the body of Christ that much, like, because I've had, like, bad experiences with people who have come to me over, you know, just different like convictions of theirs and then they have basically caused me to doubt my salvation because of what they said to me when these things aren't even sin in the bible you know what i'm saying like we're not supposed to be putting doubt in each other over our salvations like it's not for us to do that i think this is like um you know the devil invading the body of christ um and I also wanted to talk about uh, flaws. Like, we all have flaws. I have flaws, okay? Every single person, every human has flaws, okay? So there's a difference between going to a brother or sister and looking for all their little flaws and then going and being like, oh, you don't do this, you don't do that, oh, this and that. Like, 
when it's not even sin, of course we're going to have flaws, you know? Um, there's a difference between having, like, a little flaw, like, because we all have sin, you know? We all do. Not one of us doesn't. Um, this is why we need Jesus, because he's sinless, he's perfection. And we have to understand that Pharisees, this is what they did to Jesus. They'd go and see, and they'd be like, oh... You know, what? in what way can we, you know, get him? And they would just look. They'd be looking for flaws in the person and being like, oh, which way can I, can I get him in, in his words? And, oh, we have to find a fault in him. Like, brothers and sisters shouldn't be doing this. You basically, when someone claims Jesus and stuff, like, you kind of, like, assume that they're a brother or sister until they prove differently. You know, like not looking for all these little flaws um, in the person and then telling them they're lukewarm or they're not of Christ because they have flaws. There's a difference between having flaws and being an intentional sin or, you know, or sinning. Like maybe they may, like, because someone in my last video, you know, I was saying like how we have the Holy Spirit, we know what evil is, but sometimes we can be blind in certain areas and we could be like not loving someone as we should or doing something wrong and it's good to correct that person. But if if um if it's like a flaw of theirs and then just like condemning the person over it and like pointing out all these little tiny flaws that are like insignificant and they're you know they're not intentional and it's just something like that needs to be conformed, you know, and you know, it's it's not right to go and just tell the person they're lukewarm over it or just try to catch someone and, and like, little tiny flaws. That's like a Pharisee spirit. That's, like, religious, you know? I mean, we're supposed to be loving God and loving people, and that's, like, the most important thing and not doing intentional evil, you know? So we can correct each other when we're in sin, you know, or be like, oh, okay, I see in this area, you know, you know, the Holy Spirit kind of led me to tell you this or, you know, stuff like that. But once you get into condemning someone because of their flaws, that's not even intentional sin or not even sin, but just conviction in your own mind. That's like when it gets into like, you're letting the devil like ruin things and you're causing division over stupid matters and over little flaws. And I kind of just wanted to talk about this because we, the body of Christ, like, <laughs> the unity in it is just not good. <laughs> like, because, like, just with me, like, I've met, you know, people who claim Christ and it's just like, uh, like, we just get divided over time because it's like, uh, th there's just, just contention over these, these little matters over, like, you know, things that don't matter. And, um... We should just be, like, building up each other, you know? That's, like, what God wants us to do. Um, so I hope we can just learn to, like, look past our own convictions, you know, and not point, push them on other people and just, like, love each other and love God. And if we see that someone is in, like, sin, we can correct them, you know? Because it's just so tiring and it's, like, why would I want to, like, you know, fellowship with people who are going to go and condemn me and tell me I'm not of Christ or I'm lukewarm. You know what I'm saying? Because that hurts my walk. It hurts other brothers and sisters' walks when you tell them they're lukewarm over things that aren't even sin in the Bible. Like, we each have the Holy Spirit if we're born of God, you know? If someone is continuing in willful intentional sin, like over and over with no conviction, no no caring or, or anything, then yes, this person needs to be warned. But that's different, you know? Like, stop pointing out people's flaws. And like, you know, like, even like this brother, like, th there are people who just come against him and look at his flaws and be like, oh, he's not of Christ, like, because of these flaws and all this stuff, like, Man, like this is this is like a distraction, and it's like fruitless, and it it doesn't do anything. Like, you, you know, there's so many people out there that don't even know God. You know, well, I just wanted to make this video. You know, and we have to stop condemning each other and just bringing each other like 
up in the Lord and stop tearing each other down, all right? And loving each other, you know? All right, I love you guys. Be blessed.